Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> this is you never know. Yes, this is you never know. And this is the last one that we haven't heard. I I think it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the. Oh. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Wait, let me let me. Oh, you've done that infinite thing, haven't you? Yeah, I clicked the infinite no, you're button. No, that's history there. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. the last one. So you never what you, you never you never, you never know. know. Okay, Jason sure. and Lisa begin on this. All right. Ooh, nice. nice. Love it. <laughs> I was missing the ballad. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Damn, Liz. Of course, She's such, such a, a pop voice. bright voice. It's it's great. Lyrics is lovely too. Shows the softer side. Absolutely, I love this. I think we were missing that. Oh, great! Yes. True, to be I love that! <laughs> I love it! This is the one where people cry. Yeah! Oh, is it there? A phone shut off. Brilliant contrast. I love when she does that. Very bright, she is, isn't she? I love when they speak in Korean, it's so nice. And how they mix it with English is outstanding to me. Everybody sees what they want to. I like that sentence, it's nice. I love that, I love it. There's Actually, such a new maturity in Jenny's voice. Actually, in the, all of them. Yes. I think Jisoo has definitely blown me, blew me away. That this this new comeback in this in this album. I think I'm I'm back here just enjoying the whole ride. I don't I I barely ever have very little to say. And actually, in this it's very in enjoyable. This, Album, I, I'm just really enjoying everything that they've got to offer. It's pretty freaking sick. I, I, I've said it before. I, I really think that we were yet to see like the, the best, you know, the true Blackpink. I think, yeah, you know? we were seeing. This is great, man. We were seeing a product, and we we were starving for them. And it's so nice. It's so nice to actually get to see it. Yeah. Right now in this new. New era of Blackpink is like a whole awakening. I am soft for this. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually love that they close the album with a, with a song that is a bit more retrospective, that falls along with the ballad side of things. I think this is for sure going to be... A One of the best-selling ones. Yeah. yeah, a fan hymn from now on. I think this is... Because, it, 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 you know, they're talking about how easy it is to see everything from the outside. And... And, and judge and criticize things that you don't actually know what they're about. Yeah. And, and there's so and many, you know, assumptions and, and rumors and stuff about black yeah. people themselves. So because they're such an enigma for the whole of the market. No, not just not just Korean pop in Korea and Asia. No, they they well, have why? managed to freaking go beyond any, you know, front lines and barriers. And it's uh, they're, they're really that must really have an impact 
in in their persons and who they really are and and their struggles you know it must be really tough to to sometimes be caught up in bed yeah and like thinking okay today i have to put on that that face and you know what mate? about my life we were actually pretty spot on on our prediction of his bloody album we i think we pretty damn dang it dude dang it looking back at it like looking at the teasers and stuff like look, looking at we our were video, like yeah we're we bang need on. A, yeah they love sick girls Age that prediction. Yes. The 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 whole thing that I thought they were gonna have a soft song in this. Yeah. Bang it. Here. And then the fact they're gonna have hymns or, or anthems, love power stuff. Yeah. They've made it. They've made him, and I love I love that rebellious. Look at the phone. <laughs> just, just so it unlocks. <laughs> I love that rebellious, and like defiant, part of Blackpink that we really get to see it here. It's super sick. Finish it off. It's very nice, very well done. I love this! They work so well together, it's actually they ridiculous. Really do. Nice. And it, Such and a brilliant voice. And the combo doesn't matter. It could be Rose, Jisoo, Rose, Jenny, Rose, All Lisa. Them, yeah. Jisoo, Jenny. The contrast of voices is great. Nice. Ooh, cool. I love it. Yes. But I'm glad they stuck with the concept. Oh, yes. This is the moment you cry your eyes out. Baby, you know they ain't got a shot on me. No, keep going. Keep um, going with the epic part. <laughs> what, what is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to like uh, pop or actually K-pop? When they do like twelve Too different many, beats, yeah, and, genres in like I, one song. Yeah, and you're like, but okay, I love. You know, I love this. Uh, the song is good, but it's like I I feel like I heard twelve songs. Yes. I'm so happy that they kind of stuck with the whole idea. With the most heartfelt, more intimate song, they maintain the it, do it so well done. The they album is so well done. They should have. I think my only pet peeve with this one, they should have held that string section a bit a bit longer. longer. Yeah, yeah, I wish that was longer. Yeah, I think it. I'm, I'm a little. Be fair, bit... I wish the whole album was longer. To More be honest, <laughs> no, actually, I'm I'm actually pretty satisfied with the eight songs. Yeah, but this just think I'm of this. I'm so satisfied. Think of this. Think of this. They right? haven't had anything in like forever. No, no, no. They aged the production for every song. Oh yes, yes. Could they have done? I just say, could they um, have done that for thirteen or fourteen? No. You get lost in the process. I, I I think if anyone could, YG could probably do it. I think this was just perfect. It was perfect. It is I good. think this is exactly exactly the right amount of songs for this for the concept. It was exactly the right thing to have people waiting for more. You know, this is a great I think it's part of that strategy of like let me give you a little starter so you want the main course, you know? Not to make you fool that you can't eat the main course. What? And I think with with the, this marketing idea that they have with Blackpink, they always give you... With the album? No, with everything. They've done it with everything. So they give you a single, they make you play around with it, they drop an EP, and then they make you play around with it, but you're always, you're always left with that I want more feeling. And I think with this, you're pretty satisfied with the amount of songs, just me. Well, this is but, a full meal. Like, it's a great album. Yeah, but you, you still you still have room for the search, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, you can still carry on and consume as many Blackpink content as there is out there, or that is to come about from this era, because holy guacamole is this... No, I understand what you're saying. I, I think that is probably the, the market, I mean, it is the marketing strategy. But I also do think, I have a theory, I also do think in that year that they had basically no new songs, but they were still touring and performing and stuff like that. I think they either had heavy scheduling issues, or conflicting, uh, conflicting objectives of what they wanted off of that year. Also true. Like I did think... they? Did, was the objective to promote as hard as possible for then a comeback? Because it was two years, wasn't it? 
promote as hard as possible. So that means touring as hard as possible. And also one of the things that people don't sometimes forget is like money is a huge incentive mm -hmm. because there's a huge in there's a huge that's an email. It's a huge uh, investment going into it first. So you want to also maximize profit. Absolutely. So maybe those years could have been that part of that strategy. Let's maximize profit and then let's invest in big, you know, maybe it was a three year plan and this is the third. Mm -hmm. You know, or or maybe they just had issues that we don't know about. You know, uh, I, have, I have three. I have plenty of theories. I, I actually believe believe that, they were busy though. Yeah, they were pretty busy, but not making them have a full on album or release new content like fresh new music and stuff was also for the sake of their health, like because they they already had so much going on. I think. I'm, I'm just being really optimistic here and thinking could have been out at all we that, don't know yeah exactly we don't know but um perhaps they did it for like maintaining the girls uh privacy and 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 um mental health a bit more stable because they became such a hit out of nowhere like first song knocked it out of the park second track knocked it the freaking out of the park and then you know they just kept getting bigger and with everything they did, they just kept getting global. It was, it was huge. That must have had such an impact in yeah. in the in the artist them itself. Because I think, for example, the team, they see at the they see those results as, you know, that that's what it's supposed to be. Like, that's what we were aiming for. Yeah. And, um, is is a proper result that they they would have been expecting or perhaps they blew they blew their their nice. expectations out but it is a completely different effect in the actual artists in oh, like absolutely. the actual individuals yeah. and i think i think if if you think about it as the facts as as how how it happened that was perhaps the best thing those those years where they didn't actually release any new music well, look were perhaps the best the best thing that could have happened to them for the longevity of of their well, black of, the, of their well craft. that yeah that, yeah I guess it's a good thought you know they're in it for the long run not the short run anyways so but look looking at it from like in the present it's worked out so guess. absolutely I think it's so sick yeah I you know we're about to find out also you know what what's coming next and not not album wise but. Uh, because it's, this is quite very difficult year, so they can't go touring with these songs. Mm -hmm. uh, so it'll be interesting to see what they do next to promote the album and stuff. Well, like that. they are releasing a Netflix documentary. Yeah, seen that. Halfway through October. So the promotion. Um. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a huge way to get new traffic into, into their new album and stuff. I, I find um, them. I find them unicorns of the industry. So I, I anything they do, I'm really paying attention because. It's not only good to learn, you know, to what the hell is happening in the industry and what the unicorns of the industry are doing, because they are two very attractive, four very attractive unicorns, you know, all all four of them. So they are basically like one in a billion. You know that doesn't happen. So whatever's happening to them must is very unique to them to begin with, and also if it is working out, there has to be something to it, you know. Mm, absolutely. Anyway, so that's not what you thought about it. If to me. It, every every song is bloody good. I loved it. I loved it. Pop, pop rating, freaking amazing. Yeah, loved I don't like giving a number to albums because I can't express how an album makes me feel through a number. That's so true. I agree with that. But is is like this would be is a is a great pinnacle example of pop. Yeah, but this would be like having strawberries and cream in a hot summer day. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. 